Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I appreciate clicking on that video as always. We are back with another weekly wears video where I go over every single fragrance that I wore all seven days last week. So if that's content that you think you wanna see more of, please be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on bell notifications so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But without further ado, let's jump right into the list starting with Sunday. So on Sunday, I went with a fragrance that I just recently picked up from Joma Shop during the Zhirzhov sale and both fragrances that I grabbed in that haul, I actually wore this week, but the first one I decided to go with is Zhirzhov Zafiro. Love these atomizers on the Zhirzhov. White wine, honey, and cinnamon are some of the notes in here. And when I let my wife smell this the day that I wore it, she immediately, within a second, said, it smells like Red Hots. Now, if you go on Fragrantica and you look at the AI-generated pros and cons of this fragrance, the only con listed is that it smells like Red Hots. I didn't eat a lot of Red Hots growing up. I, uh, I wasn't a big hard candy, sweet candy guy. Uh, so I didn't eat a lot of those. And... Uh, apparently she did because immediately she was reminded of this. She didn't like the opening as much as I did. What I will say is that that wine, uh, the spice in here, I pick it all up. I do pick up a lot of cinnamon. That is probably what is causing that accord for many people is that when they smell it, it's reminding them of a candy. There is a slight sweetness in here, but the wine is a fruity dryness and it's not necessarily grapes, what you would think of uh, when you're talking about wine. For me, this can be used in the springtime. That's probably the warmest type of weather that you're gonna wanna wear this in. I'm thinking this is more of a cold weather type scent. Beastly performance. This lasted days on my clothes. I could still smell it when I was doing my laundry midweek and it was really nice. I just really liked the dry down. Once this settles in after the initial opening and things start working harmoniously together, just a really beautiful scent. It gets a little bit creamy. It smells luxurious, a little bit soapy. The honey does its job here and just gives you this earthy sweetness. And it's just a really nice scent. I'm really glad to have this in the collection. And for what I got it for, $110 for this, te this tester bottle for 100 ml, Absolute steal, in my opinion. Wore it on Sunday. Zafiro from Zhirzhov. On Monday, I reached for really a classic fragrance that I think everyone has some type of scent memory tied to it. If you're between the ages of like 25 and 40, you're going to have some type of scent memory to this fragrance. Even beyond that, 45 in the most case, maybe even pretty much any age, and I'll tell you why in a second. Scent I'm talking about is Abercrombie and Fitch's Fierce Intense. Musk, sea salt, and cashmere are some of the notes in here. And this is going to remind you of the mall. It's, I mean, Abercrombie and Fitch, the store. It's musky, it's sweet, it's aquatic, it's a little metallic. It's kind of a hybrid of late 90s, early 2000s fragrances. This being the intense version, I want to say this came out in like 2013 or 2014. There basically was a time where, and still to this day, that I want to say this is being used in stores where they're spraying the clothes and it's heavy in the store. And a lot of people have a scent memory tied to that. Aside from that, this was worn by a lot of guys, a lot of high school guys, younger guys. With that being said, this is not a youthful scent to me. This has elements of aromatic fougere, uh, ferny green, a little bit lush. And uh, aside from that, the aquatic notes in the 90s vibe, it, there's no real sweetness in here. So it it's not current day youthful, if that makes any sense. It's maybe, you know, early 2000s youthful, but current day youthful, no, because youthful today, much sweeter fragrances, much sweeter scents. So this to me is really uh, carrying on sort of a timeless feel and can work now. And the only drawback to this might be 
is you meet a girl who has some type of scent memory to this. Maybe she had a boyfriend that wore this and it just doesn't rub her the right way. That's the only real risk. But for the most part, my experience wearing this is that it gets a lot of positive attention from girls. My friend's wife, for example, my friend was Mont Blanc legend. And when I had told her what that really smells like, which is fierce, she it changed everything for her. She was like, oh my God, I can't believe it. And then obviously she had these scent memories tied to that scent. So I hope I didn't ruin the fragrance for her. Fierce Intense, uh, it's still worth getting fierce because of the scent profile. The scent profile is beautiful. I love this scent. Day I wore it, this lasted all day on me. I don't know what current formulations of Fierce in terms of longevity are doing, but this one lasted all day, no problems. Percival from Parfums de Mali is another fragrance I really enjoy. I really like that. It's a little more upscale, a little more natural smelling. Nonetheless, this is perfect for what I want it for. I don't need Mont Blanc Legend. I'm gonna stick with Fierce Intense and a beautiful scent. Nonetheless, Emma Carmine and Fitch, Fierce Intense. So on Tuesday, I reached for this fragrance that I received from my friends over at Mason de Arabia and they are a Middle Eastern store. I wanna say they're located in New Jersey, but they deal mainly in just Middle Eastern clones, some originals, and this one is awesome. Scent I'm talking about is Palatial for Him from La Gazelle. Black currant, dry amber, and vanilla are some of the notes in here. Decent atomizer, but what's surprising to me when I first smelled this is it reminded me of something. It smells super clean, super fresh, peppery, uh, blue fragrance, but this is actually a mix of Blue de Chanel and Dior Sauvage. But there's not any one of those fragrances that I particularly pick up. So it's kind of this twist on those, but it's uh, its its own thing at the same time. Has this really addictive sweetness to it, clean shower jelly. I'm still not sick of this DNA. I think it's just such an easy reach and easy to put on and you're gonna smell great. You're gonna get compliments from it. It hasn't expired yet. The shelf life on blue fragrances of this ilk are still relevant. And this is just a good example of that. Now. In terms of longevity, all day long. And this is a $30 fragrance. If you use my code BOSTON17, you're gonna get 17% off. This is an all day fragrance. So amazing performance, does not smell cheap at all. My wife really likes this one on me the day I wore it. And I like the twist of this being a Blue de Chanel, Dior Sauvage sort of uh, hybrid. I, I think it turned it into its own thing because I'm not picking out one more than the other here. Really like this one, palatial for him. From La Gazelle. This next one is still one of my best rack store finds ever because I just love this scent. I wish I could wear this year round. It's just not that type of scent. Day I wore it, it was a little cooler out. Scent I'm talking about is Salvatore Ferragamo's Womo. Cardamom, sweet notes, and tonka bean are some of the notes in here. man nice atomizer too a little bit of a weird cap you gotta doesn't have a cap you gotta turn this thing to sort of disengage the atomizer so you don't accidentally press it for me this is the perfect balance of a gourmand with aromatic freshness so it starts off sweet warm uh dessert like this gets compared to desserts like tiramisu italian desserts and then it sort of transitions well not transitions it has this sort of uh wave come through of these aromatic fresh spicy elements and i really enjoy that and i'm not the biggest fan of gourmands at least not wearing them and smelling like them i like smelling them on other people but for me it's not something that i like to typically wear a gourmands and this is the perfect balance. And I, I love the dry down here. The Tonka comes in, uh, this rich sort of sweet powdery Tonka. And that is what I get with some woods in the dry down. So really lovely scent. Now, I will say you don't want to wear this in the summertime or warm weather because it will get cloying. But I think on cooler spring days, no problem. 
Uh, it's a nice day to night scent. I think you could wear this during the day because it's playful. Again, for the same reasons I mentioned, the aromatic elements to this, the fresh and spicy elements. I think it works nicely during the day, but can also transition to the evening as well. Performance, absolute monster on me. Just lasts all day long, projects really nicely for like two to three hours. So fantastic, fantastic performance from this. Uh, I have nothing bad to say about Womo. I know a lot of people prefer Signature over this. I like Signature as well, but I don't know. There's just something about the original here that I really enjoy. So Salvatore Ferragamo's Womo. So if you guys have not watched my last rack store video, you need to go watch it. You need to subscribe to the channel and you need to enter this giveaway that I'm doing on these two fragrances. The scent I am talking about, and I'm going to cover the, both of these at the same time. Uh, they're both from Milestone Perfumes. This is Mouge Jubilee 26. And this is Ombre Leather Eau de Parfum. Now, these two fragrances, I'm going to just spray the ombre leather so you guys can see the atomizer. It has the same atomizer as what's on the Jubilee. These atomizers are incredible. So the obvious, right? This is a Tom Ford clone. I want to say that this may be a clone of... I haven't smelled the fragrance. This is different than ombre leather. So... My initial thought was that this is just a direct clone of ombre leather. Spice, leather, and oak moss are some of the notes in here. This is this could be a clone of Tom Ford's Ombre Leather 16, which is a different fragrance. It's part of the private blends. What I first get when I smell this is oud. I get a woody oud that really starts to dissipate after the first few minutes, and then the leather starts coming in. And then I also get these green elements, the oak moss, and it's different. It has a, I do get, it's still leather dominant for me, much of the life of the fragrance. And this is a $15 fragrance. I can't believe it. The performance on this is just incredible. 10 plus hours on me, this thing was pumping. I was trying to work and I just, all I could do was smell this fragrance. So the performance is amazing. I can't believe that this is only $15. What I don't like about this is the bottle. I think it's kind of cheesy to completely copy, um, you know, clones, whatever. I, I, I'm, I'm all for clones. I think there's a place for them in this thing, right? This thing we love collecting fragrances, talking about fragrances. I think there's a place for clones, especially how they're getting better and better. They have their own twists. They're interesting. I don't like how they copy the bottle. That's the only drawback to this. Now, Jubilee 26, again, sort of going, uh, this is a clone of Jubilation 25 from Amouage. And, you know, they're not being shy about it. They're adding a one and calling it Jubilee 26. Blackberry, Gayak, Wood, and Myrrh are some of the notes in this one. And I'll just show you the atomizer. Same type of atomizer, just incredible. This thing is awesome. I'm jealous to whoever gets this. I hope I find another bottle uh, because I'm going to grab it. That's how much I like this scent. It is so good. It is so interesting. I promise you that there isn't another fragrance on the rack at this price point that's this interesting or this dynamic or this sort of luxurious, uh, smoky, resinous, sweet, uh, just it has all these elements to it. Mysterious, sexy, this thing is awesome. And it, whoever wins is lucky to be getting this. And because I know some people are having trouble finding these. You can't easily buy these online. I tried, I looked online, is not really much you can do in terms of that. These are popping up at rack stores and that's where you can get them. So if you can find them at Marshalls, I encourage you to check your Marshalls, check your TJ Maxx. That is Jubilee 26 and Ombre Leather, both from Milestone Perfumes. And I'm giving both of these away. So I'm going to link the video. Go check out the official rules and good luck to all who enter. Finally, on Saturday, this was the other Zhirzhov that I picked up in the Joma Shaw Paul scent I'm talking about is 40 Knots.
Woody notes, salt, and green notes are some of the notes in here. And the best way to describe this scent is special. This is a special fragrance. I can see myself wearing this on a birthday, a special event, summertime, warm weather. This, I for the, the biggest mistake people have made, I think is believing like I did for a long time that this was simply a Dior Ombre Nuit fragrance. Like it smells like uh, Ombre Nuit. I, I, it's the, they're so, I wouldn't say they're, they're nothing like, but it is not what crossed my mind when I first smelled this. I can see some resemblance, but this is its own. I mean, this is a whole other thing. This is a salty aquatic. So you're not going to necessarily get deep sea vibes from this, but you are going to get a soft, watery rose just in the distance, salt and woods. There's green elements to this. It smells like a luxurious summer fragrance that can be worn day and night and really out at night and evening out dressed up. I love the bottle. I love the presentation. I love the way this smells. This lasted all day on me. Fantastic summer performer and has a little bit of height, but for me, it's worth the hype. I liked it that much and I think you guys will too. It just, there's something about this that is just makes you feel more confident. And I talk a little bit about that on the channel from time to time about, you know, the confidence without getting too deep, you have to be a confident person. This can push you a little bit in that direction. Just, you feel good. You're dressed just like putting on a new shirt. Uh, new slacks, new shoes, and feeling like you look great, and then throwing the right scent on. Oh man, this is good stuff. Love it. Zhirzhov, 40 knots. That's all I have today, guys. As always, let me know in the comment section down below what your weekly rotation was. Do you have any of these fragrances? What are your thoughts on them? I'd love to know. And do not forget, go over to the video for the giveaway, the 6,000 subscriber giveaway. I'm gonna include it here. I'll link it down below along with all these fragrances. Again, good luck to whoever wins these. If you like what we saw today, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share this video, hit that bell notification so you are updated whenever I upload new content. But until then, have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next video. <music>